This is question number 24. It says the diagram shows a large tin of pet food in the shape of a cylinder. The large tin has a radius of 6.5 centimetres and a height of 11.5 centimetres. A pet food company wants to make a new size of tin. The new tin will have a radius of 5.8 centimetres. It will have the same volume as the large tin. We're asked to calculate the height of the new tin and we're asked to give our answer correct to one decimal place. The question carries three marks. This is a prism, so we simply find the area of a cross section and multiply it by the length. In general, we can say the volume of a cylinder is the area of a circle, which is pi r squared, multiplied by the height. So in this particular case, the volume will be pi multiplied by the radius squared, which is 6.5 squared, multiplied by the height, which is 11.5. So let's go ahead and work out the volume of the larger cylinder. So I press shift pi. I'm going to multiply it by 6.5 squared and I'm going to multiply it by 11.5. That gives me now as an exact fraction 3887 over 8. So let's write this in. We have 3887 over 8 pi. So this now is an exact value. If you want a decimal answer now to store in the calculator, we've got 1526. So let's put this here, which is approximately equal to 1526, dot, dot, dot. I'm going to use this exact value. So what we want to do now is find the height of the smaller tin. So if we go back to this, this is the general formula for the volume of a cylinder. I've already got the volume, so I'm going to save it 3887 over 8 times by pi will be equal to pi r squared multiplied by the height. So if we look at this here, we could at this stage just divide both sides by the pi. These are going to cancel. Now we already know the radius, so all I'm going to write at this stage is that 3887 over 8 is equal to the radius which is 5.8 squared multiplied by the height. At this stage, I'm simply going to divide both sides of this equation by 5.8 squared. So we'll have 3887 over 8 divided by 5.8 squared. And that will give us the height. So if we just put back in a calculator, again, we could use this value. I'm just going to type it back in. 3887 over 8 divided by 5.8 squared, and that's going to give us the height. The height is going to be 14.44, so we can say that 14.4 centimetres is the height, and that's given to one decimal place. At this stage, you don't have to write down that you're dividing both sides by pi. You could leave it in, leave the answer in the calculator, and divide both sides of the equation by 5.8 squared times by pi. Either way around, it's just simply a case of finding the volume, plugging it in and solving for H.